Welcome to Watch Guard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is January Patch Megapalooza. The excuse for today's video is actually going to be Oracle's critical patch update. Just today, Oracle released their critical patch update, which they only release once a quarter. So it's a very big update of, of lots of different products they sell. MySQL, Sun Java, uh, the old Sun Microsystems, and many of their other database and business applications. If you are an Oracle user, I highly recommend you check out their critical patch update and get all the necessary necessary patches. It of course is pretty big, so there's a lot to parse. So that said, besides Oracle, since I missed Microsoft and Adobe Patch Tuesday last week, and I also didn't uh, have a video for Cisco Patch Day, I thought today's video would be a good thing to remind you of all the patches you may or may not have gotten to. First of all, last Tuesday was both Microsoft and Adobe Patch Day. Microsoft, as usual, released pretty beefy updates for a number of their products. All current versions of Windows have some sort of security update, although the Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 updates are not overly critical. They also released updates for Office, the .NET framework, Internet Explorer and Edge, and all the usual subspecs. So long story short, if you haven't applied uh, this month's Microsoft patches, definitely go apply them. It's not worth talking about all of the updates in detail. Some are more critical than others, but I highly recommend you update them all. That said, one of the uh, fallouts of Microsoft Patch Day is apparently some of the patches are giving people problems. For instance, some of the Windows 7 updates, though not critical, seem to affect Windows networking, and other people are reporting problems with remote desktop protocol after doing these updates. So while I do highly recommend you, you do Microsoft Patch Day as quickly as possible, this month you might want to do some research in the problems before applying all the updates. By the way, my general recommendation recommendation for any patches is when you're patching production servers, you definitely need to test the patches before deploying them. A lot of people maintain a virtual environment with copies of their production servers that they can test on. Now my typical advice is for Windows clients, it sometimes is okay just to push patches. I personally believe the downtime on individual client workstations is not that huge a deal. You're better off having a patch quickly than uh, the occasional time you suffer problems. That said, being that this January we know there are some networking problems with the patches, you may want to test your workstation client updates as well. As far as Adobe Patch Day, they released a number of products, the most important to affect Adobe Reader and Acrobat and Adobe Flash, although there's a couple other patches for other Adobe software users as well. By the way, the Adobe Reader update was actually released out of cycle. It was released before Adobe Patch Day because there's actually attackers exploiting those flaws in the wild, uh, basically zero day vulnerabilities. So if you're an Adobe Flash or Reader or Acrobat user, definitely get those updates. And finally, I won't go into detail for time's sake, but I will post notes in the blog post associated with this video. Cisco released a number of patches as well to iOS and their other products, so go get those. Anyways, it's been a long time since I've covered the patches and you have Oracle, Adobe, Microsoft, and Cisco patches to apply. Hopefully you're well ahead of me and you already applied last Tuesday's patches, but if not, get on the Microsoft patches quick and do the Oracle ones today if you have any of the affected products. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.